fucking Walmart. Always a blast to deal with. Always finding a way to come into my life and always finding a way to leave me disappointed. Walmart, yet again, in its wonderful stupor of disappointing individuals, has struck again. Now, they don't usually do this, or at least that's what they'd like you to know. They decide to throw out something interesting, something that people want, something that's not necessarily garbage, which is to say something because most of their products are cheaply made and unenjoyable. But they did put up a pre-order for the SNES Mini Classic. I was notified of this pre-order at about midnight uh, last Friday by my good buddy Jim the Retro Gamer. I'll link his channel in the description below to jump on this immediately. Me, not being a person of a lot of money, decided to do it anyways, and I pre-ordered this item. All right? All right. We're all on the same page. So now you know I had this item pre-ordered. Now then, today, in Walmart's wonderful way of continuing the shit show that is their customer service, contacted me through email, and they customized this email for me, guys. They totally customized it. it has my name and everything. They got, they, got, they got it right down to the first name. I'm so glad they customized it. I'm so glad they customized it. I'm gonna share it with you. So here is their wonderful, here is their wonderful little uh, 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 email they sent me. Hi, Jesse. Thank you for your interest in the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. As you are aware, this is a highly thought out after console that will launch later this fall. Now shit! Unfortunately, due to a technical glitch, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition was mistakenly made available last Friday evening ahead of the official release date. Yeah! Uh, yeah! Okay. We regrettably have to cancel this item in your order. See, now that's where you lost me, because it was a pre-order. Which, in other words, I order it before it comes out. You place an order for said amount of pre-orders that there are, and they come to your store. That's how, that's how pre-orders generally work. That's, that's how they work. That's definitely how they work. I'm pretty sure that's how they work. But it continues. We know that this is incredibly disappointing to you, and we're truly sorry for this mistake. I do hope you give us another chance to earn back your business. Warm regards, Desiree Dulaney, Senior Director Customer Care, Walmart.com. Well, Desi, I'm gonna call you Desi. I know you might not like the word Desi, but I'm gonna call you Desi. Desi, Desi Pooh? No, we're just gonna stick with Desi. Desi, I'm not satisfied with the customer service. And to even think that I would give you my business in the future is absolutely asinine. If you think at any point in time I'll ever toss money at your business ever again, you are high or out of your goddamn mind there is no way i will ever shop at walmart i have never shopped at walmart this was actually one of the few times i've ever shopped at walmart in the last 10 years i purposely avoid going into this place because every time i have gone into this place it has always been an utter disaster area i've gone in these places and there's been stuff all over the ground there's been I don't know what, some sort of fluid in the middle of the ground. And my favorite part of Walmart, and everyone's favorite part of Walmart, other than the customers, is the amazing clean bathrooms you guys keep. I love going into the Rocky Horror Picture Show covered in diarrhea to have to sift through the shit to find a toilet. If you don't get an STD when you walk in, you probably got one you walked out. But don't worry, they got a pharmacy for that, so you'll be able to get you a tetanus shot you've been looking for for a while. I have never enjoyed going to a Walmart. I probably never will enjoy going to a Walmart. I never will go to a Walmart on my own fruition. So that being said, no, Desi, I'm not happy with your customer service. I never will be happy with your customer service. As a matter of fact, you lost me permanently as a customer. Because obviously you guys have an issue with fulfilling pre-orders. That is a big thing for a company your size. If you can't fulfill a pre-order, especially one of your caliber, it kind of reflects pretty badly on you, especially for companies that are known for such wonderful pictures on the internet, such as this one, or this one, or this one. Ooh, that's my favorite. So I'm just saying, this definitely helped your company out in painting a better picture for you, because totally screwing out gamers who are pretty dominant on the internet out of a system they really want it is a good way to put a positive spin on your company. Thank you, Desi, for continually finding a way to disappoint me. And now people are wondering, well, why don't you just wait out in the cold like everybody else? 
And I'm like, you don't understand what cold is, all right? I live in the wonderful tundra that is frozen of Buffalo. We experience two seasons a year. That is summer, which is ungodly hot, and most of it is because of the humidity. And winter. No, you, you, you're thinking, but Frosted, you skipped over fall. There is no fall here. Fall only happens when the snow plummets from the sky and knocks the leaves off the trees. That's when fall happens here, all right? So I'm not a big fan of standing out in the cold waiting for a system and or game to come out, especially one that is on a limited release. Now then, I've already done this. For those of you going, well, you've never experienced what it's like to be a gamer. Well, you're wrong, mister. I've actually done this already. I waited for the Wii when it came out once upon a time ago. It's where I've sat out in the middle of our wonderful weather here in Buffalo, and it was when the Wii released. That night, we experienced such wonderful temperatures at about 10 degrees, followed by sleet and hail. It was a wonderful night. I loved sitting outside for eight hours, and of course, Walmart wouldn't want to rob me of having to experience that once again. Thank you, Walmart. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your consideration and making sure I am not robbed of that experience. Thank you, Walmart, so very much. You guys are great. And as they say at Walmart, have a nice day.